All right, boys, let's move on to the opening bout of the main card of UFC Fight Night, Sanhagen versus Song. Going down once again in the middleweight division, Anthony Fluffy Hernandez defeats Mark andre Barrio by technical submission via arm triangle at 1 minute 53 seconds of round number three. Omar, let me kick this one over to you first. What was your impression of the unassuming one, Anthony Fluffy Hernandez, getting it done? I mean, it's crazy. It's 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 like the second guy, too, where I look at Anthony Hernandez and I look at this other guy and I'm like, this other guy looks like an absolute monster. Like, he's, like, jacked. He's got all these credentials. And, like, Anthony Hernandez just seems like some dude who took an MMA class and just got really <laughs> fucking good at it. And it's crazy because he's really good at it. The pace is absolutely outstanding. The way that he's able to mix up his strikes into his takedowns and just kind of keep people guessing, keep people uncomfortable is absolutely <clears throat> fantastic. Um, I, I, I really enjoy watching this kid fight. Um, <laughs> I, as, a, as a New Yorker, or a, you know, a, a resident New Yorker of, of many, many years, I kind of enjoy the fact that his mouth is unsuited for television. He is cursing up a storm, <laughs> like if he's getting paid per minute or per word. Mm. Uh, and I absolutely love it. I think it's absolutely hilarious. But he, he's he's a good time, man. He's a good personality. He's a fantastic fighter. He makes me want to watch it just to see if he can actually pull this shit off. But if you look at him, man, he doesn't he doesn't look like your typical MMA fighter. Sure. But God damn it, does he get it done against the guys who absolutely do? Good for him, man. I love it. Absolutely. Omar is Mark, so you're... underwhelmed by the physical appearance of Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I am. Have... Yeah, between his physique it's... and he doesn't have great height for middleweight. Uh, yeah. Dude, look at the but look at the two animals that the man has fought. Right, like he fought the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu yeah, yeah, yeah. phenom who's who looks jacked to shit. Okay, and then the last guy he just fought the the, the Mark Andre guy, he's also pretty jacked to shit. Yeah, well, yeah, and yeah. like Anthony Hernandez is not. You know what I mean? And so it's just crazy how he could just – he absolutely ragdolls some of these guys and, like, makes them look – first of all, he also makes them look like they're not even strong <laughs> because he just completely outworks them from beginning yeah, to end. It's, sure. it's a beautiful thing. I love it. I love watching it. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mark, let's get you in here on Anthony Fluffy Hernandez. What was your take on his performance? I friggin' love Anthony Hernandez. I love him. The guy is an absolute machine. I'm not sure that he even breathes in there. Uh, if you are a fighter who has cardio issues, even if you don't have cardio issues and you just want your cardio to become superhuman, go seek this man out and train with him because the pace that he is going to put on you day after day is going to make it feel like a walk in the park by the time you actually get into a cage f for a fight. I mean, he was fighting a guy who is also known for his cardio and also known for putting a pace on people. And you would never even know it because he drowned him and wore him the fuck out throughout the entire fight. He closed distance so well. He stayed in his face. His entries for his takedowns were fantastic. He picked Barry out up a couple times for like big takedowns. I mean, the guy is a force and Omar kind of just said it. Like, I don't know where the strength, he doesn't look like he should have the strength that he does, but the dude is no joke. And then when it hits the ground, he is a smothering and relentless grappler and striker in, in, in those scenarios. He's hitting you the whole time, too. And he rode Barrio the whole way. Every movement Barrio made to try to free himself, Hernandez was riding him, adjusting. And then he snatches up that choke about as suddenly as you can snatch a choke up. And, and next thing you know, Barrio is sleeping. Like, it, it went from no choke at all to asleep in, like, seven seconds or some shit. It was crazy. And, um, you know, you can't do better than he just did. The, the dude is on a hell of a roll. He is a damn problem, and he's better and better every single time we see him. I mean, he really puts it together really well. I mean, so Omar's point really makes me wonder, like, you know, he's been training in MMA, and it just seems like he just listens to his coaches, and he just absorbs everything he learns in all of his classes, and he just puts it together. He does look good everywhere, and he has really good cardio, especially at middleweight. And, uh, yeah, man, he gets it done. He looks good. Uh, Mark, where would you go with uh, Anthony Hernandez next at 185 pounds? 
This is another guy moving up the line like I did with Rodriguez. I, I feel like there's a bunch of guys in middleweight right now who are entertaining as hell. They're putting on good performances, and the UFC just kind of keeps taking them and, like, matching them up against another guy who's ranked, like, 30th. And, like, they kind of just keep fighting each other. I'm ready to jump some of these guys. Rodriguez is a guy who's looked impressive. Let's see him fight someone. Hernandez, same shit. That's two fights in a row where he has looked, like, mind-blowingly good. Like, holy crap, what is Anthony Hernandez doing right now? So. Yeah. I'm ready to jump this man as well. Um, we have Brendan Allen fighting Christoph Jotko very soon. I think the winner of that fight and Anthony Hernandez would be fantastic. Yeah, man. All right, Omar, give us uh, your take on Hernandez's next opponent, potentially. I also think the man should be shot up the rankings. I am curious, however, as to where you, Mark, have uh, – Edmund Shahabazian. Is he still at 185, this kid? Yep, I have him at 18. No. I want to say he... Low. Shabazian. I want to say he had a Shah- rumor of a fight Shah- that I might have seen. Yeah, dude, he he's he has a comeback fight against Dalsha Lungiambula, which you would hope he wins uh, that or else the Edmund Shabazian experiment is over with. I think we may have mentioned this in a sphere at one point. Yeah, 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 that's why it was in my head. I remembered you said Yes. That. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I want to give him somebody that's that's up in the ranking, somebody who I don't necessarily think really should be up there or hasn't shown that they should still be up there. Um, so that was kind of why I was going with, with Edmund for that one specifically. Makes sense. If I had to go with a second one, I don't want it to sound super disrespectful, but uh, I will probably give him uh, Brad Tavares. I think that's a... A very, very real challenge like for it. Anthony Hernandez. And, and honestly, I think he could live up to the hype there. That's yeah. a great one, too. Yeah, for sure. 